Georgia versus Kentucky. When we previewed this, we both took Georgia and the points. And uh, pat ourselves on the back for that. Kentucky was for, a fraudulent team, and we smelled it from an absolute mile away. For some reason, the talk of the town was, oh, Kentucky's going to go into Georgia and upset no. them. Kentucky's going to test Georgia. No. We, we, <laughs> we saw right through that, man. Carson Beck, right now, behind Jaden Daniels, right here, is best quarterback in the SEC right now. And then there's a huge gap. <laughs> is it Jalen Milrow? Is it Jalen Milrow right now? Or is it Brady Cook? Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not ready yeah. to say that. I'm not ready to say that yet. But, <laughs> but all I'm saying is Carson Beck is playing football at a very high level. And guess what? Yep. Normally, it's been Georgia's run game that sets up their pass game, right? And, you know, uh, Seth Bennett was a really good player, but he was helped out by a nice run game. Uh, in the second half, Carson Beck's, like, the pass game set up the offense, like the run game. That That's what ended up happening. Carson Beck is a very, very, very good quarterback. And the fact that George is getting healthy right now at this time and Carson Beck is playing at this level, it is it is scary hours for everyone. It is scary hours. And this the rest of their schedule – is absolute cupcakes until you get to until you get to Bama basically until you get to Bama they they might not play they might not have a ranked win all year until they get to Bama in the SEC championship or LSU or A and M or Ole Miss or whoever it ends up being right in the West which because that thing's an absolute pig style over there but assuming it's Bama right you you won't you still won't see a ranked win for Georgia which could also put it on fraud alert, right? Like, is this team ready for the moment? You know, but with this talent, they're not frauds, right? They're, it's just like, can they live up to the moment when they face a really, really elite team? Um, But yeah, Carson Beck playing as well is scaring me. Well, it should scare everyone. That's what it should. Yeah. And, and we we, call, we talked about it. You picked him in your fantasy high, your fantasy quarterback SEC draft. I mean, the, the embarrassment of riches that there is in that skill group there. I say skill group because it's the wide receivers and obviously a loaded tight end group with the headliner. Everyone knows Brock Powers is just a freak. Oscar Delp's a very good player as well. Andrew Paul, right? Like, and now you're finally getting everybody incorporated. Marcus Rose, Mr. Jack Saint finally had a really good game. Rara Thomas continues to get better and better. Dominic Lovett, right? Was you know, not, not a huge factor there, but he made some nice plays and you're still getting Lad McConkey healthy. Right, that the team is just loaded, and when you got like a guy like you talked about with Carson Beck playing really, really well with an O line that's keeping them kind of upright, even though they're not running the ball great, I feel like their pass pro has been okay. It's awesome to see, and I do think, like you said, like a lot, like yes, they ran the ball well, kind like they had thirty one rushing attempts for one hundred seventy three yards, five point six yards per carry, is really, really good on the surface, but a lot of that came in the second half. And I, from what I was watching, I, I believe. Carson Beck did a lot of damage kind of on his own. We talked about it though with Kentucky, man, it's going to be a long October, November, right? Uh, enjoy, enjoy September while you, while you, while you could, because it doesn't get much easier here, man. Missouri is going to be pissed off right next week. Tennessee at Mississippi state is, it's probably your easiest game, your most winnable game. It's not free either, but you got to go to, you got to go to Mississippi State, which is you know never easy. And then Bama is your crossover, and you got to finish with Louisville, who we just talked about is playing pretty good football right now. Um, yeah, De- Devin Leary just continues to not make a step. We knew Wright Davis is a good player, and he still is a really good player. Do not let this game diminish you. Georgia has done that to a lot of really good running backs that are making a lot of money in the NFL right now, but we we saw that coming, right? You Kentucky does not have the bodies up front to give him a chance against Georgia. And, and like that came to fruition there, but yeah, I, Kentucky, man, kind of get your act together. And, and Georgia's continuing to get healthy. You talked about scary. Everyone thought for the whole month of September, Oh, Georgia's down. Bam's down this year. Nope. October hits man. And they really turn it up. So credit to them and credit to Georgia and Kirby smart for really coming to play, which we saw it come. I mean, I'm not surprised. And it doesn't make me think anything less of Kentucky. Like, I don't think I saw 38 points I, being the difference, but I, I I don't I'm not super surprised in that Georgia kind of boat raced them. We we talked about that. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry that Kentucky had to be the first victim of the redshirt sophomore fraud alert. Right. <laughs> but 
uh, yeah, I mean, this just confirmed my the beliefs that I had already. I, I don't know. Like you said, I don't really see him all that much differently. I think a lot of people see him differently because I think a lot of people thought that they were going to win this game, but that was just not going to happen. They're back down to where they pro- they were should have been properly rated um, in terms of that, that high coming off and beating – for a team who's not very good on the road and but yeah and, and also like not only was kentucky a victim from the redshirt sophomore you know for alert they were a victim of a pissed off georgia team at home so like that's we talked about talent pissed off coming back home is never a good recipe for the last time in uh, an underdog team there and the line was 14 and a half for a reason right vegas saw right through that and I'm sure they made a ton of money if people put their mouth, their money where their mouths were all week on Twitter. 